Chess friends, Stockfish 16 is released and today I will show you my new amazing chess game between Alpha Zero and Stockfish 16, where I sacrificed my rook and knight against him. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. I started the game with e4, we have g6, Alpha loves to play modern defense as always, d4 bishop g7 knight c3 and we have standard line c6, d5 is coming sir bishop c4 d6 queen f3 to target the pawn with the bishop, which is why he played e6 to block the line and he is threatening to take the pawn, so knight e2 queen e7 a4 to protect that square, we have some 4000 elo moves, don't think to copy it. I can push the kingside pawns to attack the king's structure so he strikes the center first with e5, d5 knight f6 a5 and he played castle, rather than thinking about to push the pawn and castle in weak queenside, I decided to play castle, a6 h3 and after some moves later, you might say, don't move too fast stockfish, I need to watch your every move, ok bishop f1 nothing special here, knight here rook d1 king slides b3 h5 bishop c4, do you know the idea behind bishop c4? No, then c, the pawn can't be taken, if someone dare to take the pawn then after doing some pieces exchanges on center, the knight will seize many important squares, queen here then bishop a7, deflecting the rook from the b8 square to make a fork on c7 with the knight, it would be a very tough situation for you, so back to the position, alpha is a special guy, he played knight b5, knight e2 knight a3 to attack both of the targets, so bishop b3 to protect the pawn, knight b5 and you know what, you can't take the knight without making a plan, black will enjoy this open c file, so we have knight a4, takes takes, I am threatening to play c4 to kick out the knight, then put the knight behind the c pawn, then push it, to open up the rank for the pass pawn, you can sacrifice a pawn to make a protected pass pawn, alpha is not least than stockfish, when all super engines are failed to defeat stockfish, then he was born, said by alpha, he is threatening to push the e pawn which is why I moved back my bishop and now you can't push the pawn to capture my pieces, let me show you why, if e4 happen then simply take the pawn with bishop, 69 IQ people will be galled by capturing a free bishop, but look at the position, the rook is x reign to queen and rook behind from the knight, so knight g3 with a discover attack, he may capture the queen then take the rook first with a check, the king have to run while doing toilet, takes and you will win up material, game will be in your hand, like the video now thank me later, so in this position we have knight c7 by alpha, he looks like a kid but he is not a kid, he is threatening to push the pawn on e4 again after queen f7 so queen g3 queen here, and here alpha 0 puts his knight in a worst square, he won't make some gameplay on b6 square, ok bishop c2 b5. And we have on Passan move, with that we have pieces exchanges on b6 square, knight d7 and after some moves later I am re-rotating my knight, ok we have knight f3 with the idea of playing knight g5 to target the queen, if Magnus Carlsen here plays a 200 elo move for example rook a7, I don't know actually why all the 200 elo moves are blunder, knight g5 queen here knight e6 to fork the sweet cakes, rook e8 then queen takes pawn, you have to play knight f8 to guard your position. Queen takes f5 then after doing some pieces exchanges on e6 square, we will play queen takes pawn with a threat of queen h7 check, so king here bishop here, rook has to move then move up the rook, when the position is clear and king is unsafe then always involve your rook to destroy your enemy, break the ego and attitude of your enemy by your intelligence and special talents, everyone have some special talents. If you make it your ambition passion and work then you will be successful otherwise you will be a simple and stuck chess pawn, so in this position we have queen f6, bishop g5 queen backs and I sacrificed my knight on d4, if you dare to touch it then rook e7 will come to ruin your queen, the queen have no squares left so bishop e5 to target it, queen ups then you will lose your queen for a rook and knight, game will be over so back to the position, we have f4 to target it. Queen h4 and you still cannot take it because of the same reason, your queen will be in jail so black plays knight c5, I said Hari Krishna and played knight c6, my idea is to play b4 with knight support, 
try to retreating the knight to block away the rook line and make the rook passive, then I will play knight e7 check with a threat of knight takes pawn with light square bishop, therefore queen takes check will destroy you, alpha zero knows it because he is a student of me. And chess friends if you want to play like 4000 elo rating engine then you can like and subscribe to my channel, we have bishop f5 to block the diagonal, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes because queen takes bishop wasn't possible because of knight e7 fork to the king and queen, you would lose the rook, b4 to target it with knight support, knight e4 c5, to make a pass pawn, bishop f6 and here I decided to sacrifice my rook on e4, he accepted the rook sacrifice, takes king h8 bishop takes queen takes, queen takes check, rook blocks and takes, we have another pawn exchanges on e3, I have a pretty pawn structure healthy knight queen and rook support, here I am completely winning the game because alpha have no special pawns where I have great pawn structure and combination, black king will face windmill of checks. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.